G'day again folks. One of the questions I often see posted in uh, groups is about keying external amplifiers from modern radios. Uh, there are commercial solutions uh, which are sometimes stupidly expensive. There uh, are however other solutions so I'm going to show you uh, a very cost effective way of keying an older linear amplifier with a modern radio. Now many of us will have modern radios like the ubiquitous ICOM IC7300 and these invariably have a send jack or something similarly named which uh, is a keying output from the radio. The send jack is used to control external devices like an external linear amplifier. Now many of us also have quite old equipment like the old uh, FL2100Z in my shack and it might be uh, some 40 years old but it's still perfectly serviceable and uh, uh, no reason not to use it. Now old amplifiers like the FL2100Z have a keying input, just uh, an RCA jack usually and this puts the amplifier into transmit mode. Now of course it's very tempting to simply connect the keying output of the radio to the keying input of the amplifier but this is fraught with problems. The problem is that the keying input of old amplifiers is usually nothing more than just relay coils which can involve some quite high voltages and quite high current. Now this wasn't a problem with older radios like the FT101 which were designed to work with these older amplifiers because their keying output was really nothing more than a pair of relay contacts. It didn't matter that there might have been high voltage or high current, it was just relay contacts. The situation is quite different however with new radios. They don't have relay contacts as the switching output. They almost always have transistors, quite small transistors with very limited current and voltage handling capabilities. What we need to do is to provide an interface between the new radio and the old amplifier. There are commercial products which fit the bill but they can be quite expensive considering what's in them. There is a better way. Anyone who's used to using microcontrollers like the Arduino will be familiar with using relay modules to switch higher voltage or current loads which can't be switched easily with the small logic outputs of the microcontrollers. These relay modules are ideal as an interface between the new radio and the old amplifier. They are optically isolated and have relay outputs to suit the old amplifier, whilst the input is very low voltage and low current, and is by a jumper changeable from either active high or active low. Best of all, these little relay modules only cost about six or seven dollars in single lots on popular auction sites even from Australian suppliers even less if you bring them in from overseas. These are available in 5 volt and 12 volt versions make sure you buy a 12 volt version so you can power it from the station power supply. This is the little module that I use if you're looking for one do a search for something like Arduino relay module and you're bound to find it on sites like AliExpress or eBay. This is a module I use in my shack to switch the uh, linear amplifier but this is a two relay module because I also use it to switch a coaxial relay which cuts off the antenna to the SDR that I have here whenever I'm transmitting. I've just built my little relay board inside a box so for a couple of dollars for the box and a few dollars for the board you're off and away. So easy. So there you go. There are ways to uh, 
key an older amplifier with a, a new radio without it costing a fortune. You just need to know where to look. See you next time.